Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, on various social media networks. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your complete look at what's going on with your weather forecast into the weekend. This is our live video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you got questions, please email me at austin.onik at wreg.com or contact me through these various social media networks, and I'll be glad to make certain you know what's going on across the Mid-South where it comes to the forecast. Speaking of which, and conveniently, current conditions right now just after 8 o'clock in the morning, 58 degrees here at the News Channel 3 studios. Southwest winds at about 6. Mostly sunny for most of the day today. Your forecast here for today in the red bar back into the upper 70s for highs. And then tonight, mostly clear lows back in the lower 50s. Later on today, there could be the possibility, slim possibility, of some showers taking place. Doesn't look like a lot, but we will tell you more about that coming up here in just a little bit. So stay tuned for more on that. Rhodes College in Memphis. Things are quiet at this time. We're not seeing anything in the way of major problems so far again from any weather beautiful conditions across the mid-south plenty of sunshine mineral wells mississippi near olive branch tim b's webcam on the weather underground system we feature these from time to time out there and some great webcams available there as well from our weather bug system windy country club in southeast memphis golfers out and about golf carts out there no problems being seen out there again for the early morning hours and looks pretty good into the rest of the day today as well here's what the forecast looks like if you can't stick around for the rest of the forecast, mid to upper 60s by mid to late morning, lower 70s as we head toward late this morning, and those westerly winds will really start to be increasing. Not a wind advisory territory, not exactly around 40, million, uh, 40 miles, miles per hour, but we could see some breezy winds every once in a while, so something else to take a look at. And chances of rainfall will start to show up as we go toward late this afternoon. Slim chances only, and that's going to be about it. So mainly sunny for most of the day, very dry air in place and as this weak cold front approaches the area it could bring in the possibility of a few scattered showers but beyond that really just not looking at too much of anything out there at this time let's go ahead and run the numbers for you and show you what we've got going on throughout the course of the rest of the day numbers by the time we hit mid to late after mid to late morning into this afternoon should be back into around the mid to upper 60s to right around the lower 70s so we are seeing again some nicer conditions out there for the weekend but if you have any plans for outdoors, keep the umbrella handy, and here's why. We may see, again, the possibility of a few scattered showers starting to sneak their way in to around west northwest areas of Tennessee, just beyond the Tennessee River Valley, and a little bit closer into the Mid-South as we go toward about News Channel 3 at 5. From Dyersburg through about Somerville, down to around Corinth. Again, light chances for the most part. Not seeing a great deal of activity here, but again, still possible. Possible. So something to watch out for there. Now some of that could wander briefly into around the area of the metro as we get into around dinner time and right after sunset, but that's going to be about it. Hopefully not a problem for stargazing tonight. There's going to be a stargazing opportunity with the Memphis Astronomical Society at Shelby Farms Green Line Park. That's at Mullen Station Road. More information on my Facebook page about that. Through News Channel 3 at 10 and into very early tomorrow morning, upper 40s to lower 50s as we winds turn back around out of the northeast and then getting into the numbers back into the upper 60s by tomorrow late in the day those northeast winds behind that front this front may not be all that powerful but it is going to have enough energy to drop the numbers by just a little bit tomorrow so lower to mid 70s for the most part into most of sunday and then as we wrap things up into around early portions of Sunday evening. Temperatures will be a bit cool by Sunday night at 10, back in the upper 50s to the lower to mid 60s. So the rest of the weekend, again, mostly sunny and dry, but once again, we will be looking for that possibility of a few scattered showers taking place into around the afternoon and evening hours. So again, a few sprinkles on the rain on the windshield, hopefully not too much of a problem elsewhere, but again, we will watch out for that. Very nice throughout the rest of the weekend on Sunday. Temperatures going back into the mid to upper 70s, a little little bit lower than today, not by that much. And then temperatures as we go into Monday will be back into the lower 80s. Not much of anything in the way of rainfall chances as we get into the late weekend, early next week. But watch toward next week, and we do have that possibility of more showers and thunderstorms coming back into the picture by Thursday and Friday. Doesn't look like much right now, but it does still have that possibility of getting some showers and thunderstorms back in the mix. Want to check out the 10-day forecast? Stay tuned to News Channel 3, or we'll have more on the forecast 
podcast available at wrhe.com slash weather. Get our weather app, stay up to date on what's going on with the weather across the Mid-South, and that's a great opportunity for you to stay safe and informed as to what's going on with the weather experts. Go to whatever uh, Apple platform you've got, Apple, Android, whatever, and search WREG weather, and that'll get you the app information that you need to download it. Thanks to our webmaster, uh, George Brown, for getting this uh, update through. Tune in for the forecast. If you can't watch or get online, listen to Country 92.5 or Oldies 102.3 for my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. And, of course, tons of social media available through my various websites there, so a lot of information available as we go throughout the rest of the weekend. I'll have more details on the forecast again on social media, wreg.com slash weather, and throughout the rest of the weekend on air. We'll be on at 5, 6, and 10 tonight, depending on what happens with our golf schedule, and we'll also have more through News Channel 3 at 10, also into daybreak tomorrow, and throughout the rest of the weekend. Thanks for joining me live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, from the WREG News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin more to come throughout the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online.